Patrick, welcome. Uh, we'll go ahead and go straight to questions. And uh, we'll start with Sam Kahn. Go ahead, Sam. Hi, Patrick. I'm curious, when you look at the way you guys have played on defenses of late, what has gone well and where have you guys gotten better the most, in your opinion? Um, we learned through experience what we need to do. Um, you know, I just felt like we prepared better each and every week. Uh, we've gotten better each and every week flying around to the ball, uh, making adjustments and, you know, learning from past games where we struggled at and sort of fixed and corrected what we needed to do. All right, our next uh, question comes from Stephen Smith. Go ahead, Stephen. Hey, Pat, I know um, um, Malachi Moore didn't play against Notre Dame, but how has he looked this week in practice? Uh, he looked he look fine. Um, he's moving out there. Uh, he should be ready to go. All right, we'll next go to Patrick Murphy. Patrick? Patrick, uh, just your impressions of, of Justin Fields, what you've seen of him, kind of the, the growth of him as a quarterback, um, and, and obviously coming off the best game of his career, what you guys have to do to slow that passing attack down. Um, obviously, he's a great talent. He's got a tremendous arm. Um, like I said, he's a leader on that team. Uh, whatever he does affects the team a lot. Um, but we just got to look at uh, things to do to affect him, you know, as far as getting to the quarterback, pressuring him, um, different disguises in the back end, many different uh, things to look at through the um, uh, film room. All right, our next question will come from Mark Stallworth. Go ahead, Mark. Hello, Patrick. How you doing? Uh, my name is Mark Stark. I'm with the Miami Times newspaper. My question to you is how important is a game like this for you all in regards to recruiting in South Florida? Um, you know, it's, it's still an important game. Um, I don't know what recruiting got to do with it. Um, but at the same time, you know, we just focus on this game. Um, hopefully, you know, they'll look at this game and see um, what they think of it. But um, right now, I don't think that's uh, that's out of the question, out of the picture right now. I also had a follow up, if that's okay. Yeah. All right. What What are you looking forward to uh, towards the most this week coming back to uh, South Florida, playing in Hard Rock Stadium? Um, like I said before, I know it'll be a um, a hometown game. Um, I'm just looking forward to uh, play the best game with my teammates and just going out there and. Um, you know, just winning the game. That's all, all I'm focused on, really. All right, our next question will come from Nathan Baird. Nathan, go ahead. Hey, Patrick. Um, the combination of Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson for Ohio State, are there any teams that you guys have already faced that you feel like you, you've seen a, a mix of this where you have two receivers of that caliber uh, between the slot and the outside that you have to deal with at the same time? And, and how do you try to match up with that? Um, I, I say we've seen teams like that before. Um, just this team, you know, they got they're very talented on both sides of the ball, even in the running game. Um, you know, so I feel like uh, they bring a whole lot of dimension on their offense. Um, they're great receivers, of course, um, which brings um, tremendous amount of uh, depth in their offense. So, you know, we're looking forward to the challenge. Our next question comes from Leo Johnson. Leo, go ahead, please. You know, overall, how do you look to stop this Ohio State passing game that they all they have great receivers and then they can also attack with their tight ends? Um, like I said, it all starts in the film room and preparing each and every day in practice. But I'm also looking at the top concepts, what they like to do, um, things like that. You know, as a whole defense and as a whole unit is all about studying their tendencies and you know, just preparing each and every day for the game. All right, our next question comes from Christopher Heidel. Go ahead, Christopher. Hey, Patrick, thanks for taking my call. Um, talk about your father. Your father played in the NFL you know, with the Dolphins and the Chiefs. What did he teach you uh, about football growing up? And also, what was it like going, like you said, going back home to Miami, where he was literally uh, there for a long time when you were growing up? Uh, I could remember him playing. Uh, since I was in my earliest youth days, 
But um, he's he's taught me a lot about football, um, even more about football. You know, uh, after life of football, you know, he taught me a lot of things going into the game. And, you know, I just carried and learned from him. And uh, just going back home, you know, he's going to be there. Um, I'm just looking forward to impress him, you know. Um, I know they're going to be happy to see me. I'm going to be happy to see them. So um, it's going to be a great moment. All right, our next question will come from Mitch Stacy. Go ahead, Mitch. Hey, Patrick. I, you already talked about the uh, Ohio State receivers uh, a little bit. Uh, you're probably going to be seeing a lot of Chris Olave. Can you talk a little bit about what he does so well and why he's hard to defend? Um, I say his speed. Um, he creates separation fast um, at the top of his routes. Um, and I say he also is very patient and fluid with his route running. Um, he keeps the defense guessing. I say that by the much, but um, yeah, he's an excellent vertical threat for their team. And uh, it's going to be a challenge, of course. All right, our next question comes from Stephen Means. Go ahead, Stephen. Hey, Patrick, kind of along those same lines, as a corner, I, I, every wide receiver is different. They have their own special skill sets. But as a corner, when you know a guy that you may be matched up against on a specific snap is more of a deep threat than he is maybe yards after the catch or intermediate routes, is there any adjustments you make as a corner when you know that in the back of your head? Um, of course, you got to look at certain things where receivers like to do their tendencies and how they utilize them in the offense. So, um, you know, as a corner, you got to expect that going into the game, um, his favorite routes, what he likes to do here and there. So um, you got to be on top of that as a corner. All right, we'll go now to David Ferronis. David, go ahead. Hey, Pat, uh, good to see you. Good to see you do doing so well since your time at Heritage. Um, along the lines of, uh, you know, playing back home in South Florida and, and, you know, also your father, um, you, you talked about having memories, uh, from being a child, uh, going to the stadium, what, what memories were there, you know, are there any specific ones? And, and also, uh, from uh, that first, uh, playoff semifinal that you played as a freshman, uh, what can you remember from that? And what would it mean to you to potentially go out on top in the stadium that your father once called, uh, his NFL home? Um, well, I'll say that I remember you know, certain things when he was playing for Miami, like him making plays. Um, they also had a great defense back then with him, Jason Taylor, Sam Madison, um, all those guys, Zach Thomas. But um, I just remember him making plays out there having fun. Um, but also just knowing that what it took to get here, you know, it's a blessing, honestly. But, um, you know, just looking forward to this game. I remember the semifinal game. Um, I just remember being a freshman out there, um, you know, having fun, you know, just winning the Orange Bowl. You know, I just look forward to the game ahead. All right, our next question will come from Jeff Spiegel. Go ahead, Jeff. Hi, Pat. Obviously, uh, you mentioned your dad and what a great career he had. And uh, you're up for a couple of awards tonight. Um, how much would it mean to you to, to win those awards to further show the mark that you yourself have had on this game? Um, I'll be honest, honestly, um, but like I said before, um, I'm not so much focused on the awards. I'm just focused on the game ahead. Um, you know, the awards come second um, towards what we got in the store and what we got to uh, finish. All right, we'll take one final question from Myron Williams. Myron, go ahead. Hello, Patrick. I know you spoke a little bit about your time here in South Florida. Um, have you had a chance to speak to the other guys from South Florida, Jordan Battle, uh, Josh Job? Um, what are some of the excitement that you guys have as a unit and as a team coming back? Um, we're all very excited to come back home and playing uh, in the national championship. Um, you know, all our families are going to be there. They're going to be excited, you know, uh, repping the hometown. You know, it's an exciting feeling knowing that um, how much tradition you bought into the uh, South Florida world, uh, we did. But, um, you know, it's going to be an exciting moment, and we're going to uh, have fun out there. So, you know, we're just going to enjoy the moment. Pat, thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll see you on.